Hey, all right, so we're gonna go get some coke um, for the forge because it's not gonna be far off till we get that forge done. Uh, Tilly, what are we gonna go get? We're gonna get Coca-Cola. No, not Coca-Cola, we're gonna get coke. Uh, I'll fill in some details about coke because it was interesting, I didn't know too much about it. Uh, I knew I needed it and I knew I needed some coal as well, but um, there's only a couple of places we can get it here in Melbourne, so uh, I'm off to uh, search for that now. Okay, we know where we're going to be going to. We're going to Footscray in um, Melbourne, Victoria, or uh, New Melbourne, but in Victoria. And uh, we're going to go and get some coke. So they're open till uh, they're open till five o'clock today. It's Saturday, and we're going to be there pretty early. But uh, I think they're going to be having some classes there at the same time. So I might see if I can get some footage of that, and um, yeah, you can see what's going on here in Melbourne. This is uh, where we're picking it all up from. Uh, this uh, waterside, waterside uh, metal art studio, and they've got all sorts of classes and stuff here. But I just get the coke from there. It's pretty cool. All right. So this is a bag of coke that I brought home. It's about 17 kilos worth there. And uh, see if we can open it up. This is a cool little twisty tie thing here. Just to, someone's taken the time to make nice and tight. Probably just pull it off, but uh, let's just unscrew it first. Now, I decided to look on YouTube for for stuff about Coke, and uh, there actually wasn't that much. Uh, it was like, yes, it's used for forging, yes, it's used for um, steel manufacturing, as far as the forging in a more industrial environment. But... Um, as to why you would use coke uh, versus uh, coal or charcoal, uh, I couldn't actually fi find a lot. So hopefully I can actually fill in a little bit of the answers here. So the things that I did find basically say that um, <laughs> coke is a, if not a byproduct of, of coal, it's a, it's a, I guess, reduced form of coal. <laughs> um, and have a look inside the bag here. <laughs> this is what we're looking at. They're almost stone-like uh, pieces. Uh, it's quite hard, a lot harder than, than coal. <laughs> and um, basically, what we would be doing with this is um, heating it up, and that, this is what's going to be uh, make our even heat source. Now. There's a couple of good things with, with coke, and there's a couple of, uh, of bad, although I don't mind it in my situation. The good thing is that um, it, it creates this nice even heat, and, uh, and it takes a long time for this stuff to burn down. Uh, it also uh, loses its cool quite quickly. Now in my scenario underneath the house here, that's actually really positive because I don't want to burn us down, so it'll allow me to uh, <laughs> cool it down a lot quicker. The, the sort of bad part about it is that you need another fuel source to really get this going. So uh, I've got a little bit of charcoal which I'm going to use to to get it started and uh, I'll be using the bellows, in this case a hairdryer um, and uh, in the tra tradition of all uh, <laughs> novice blacksmiths on YouTube it will be my uh, my wife's hairdryer, Shh, don't tell anybody. And um, we we would need to keep some air on this so that it actually can get to the heat that we want. And it's, and it's a stronger heat with co uh, coke versus um, coal or, uh, or charcoal. So um, that's what I've been told. Uh, the, the other positive is that it's, it's supposed to smoke less. So we'll find out whether it does or not. And that's gonna be a great thing too about being under here on the, under the house because um, I'm, I'm sort of, picturing that I'm, I'm going to be smoking myself out until I get some really good ventilation in here. So we'll, we'll find out what happens very soon. Um, also take a couple of shots while I'm, uh, while I'm getting the forge going. Um, and uh, you'll probably see this video prior to actually seeing me complete the forge, but I've, uh, I'm sort of making it all in the same week. So you'll, you'll see a couple of shots of the of the coke live so you can see how it's actually working because this this uh this video is about coke itself so um uh if i've made any mistakes around that uh, let me know in the comments below but uh, i'm pretty sure that's what it's all about and obviously once i start using it a little bit more i'll be able to tell you more 
as well. So this here is a coke fire. Um, there is a little bit of charcoal in there, but it was just just enough to get it going. Uh, you can see it's like nice bright and red in the center. Um, from actually on the camera, it probably looks more white, but it basically it's a nice orange. Uh, when you're here, I'll, I'll show what happens when I turn on the um, turn on the bellows. In this case, hair dryer. It does get going a fair bit, but what I've been really surprised at is how clean this fire is. There's not really any smoke to speak of at all. Uh, when I do put a piece of charcoal in it, it, it spits and sputters a bit with the sparks, but um, uh, if it wasn't for the charcoal, it would be 100% clean. But I do need the charcoal in there to actually uh, keep this thing going. So. I'm going to uh I'm just going to watch this for a little bit longer and see how long it takes to really die off without any airflow at all. So that's literally 5 minutes with the uh with the air off and you can see yeah it's already dying right down. Um I'm not going to just leave it as is. I'll I'll make sure I uh Well, I don't know how to turn it off. Um as far as I turn it off. <laughs> I don't know how to actually put it out. But um I I'll uh I'll have a look in a moment, but uh, it's either sand or maybe water. But I'll uh, I'll actually look that up while I'm uh, while I'm waiting. So I'll come back again when it's actually fully died down. But that's five minutes after the fact. All right, that's like 13 minutes. So you can see that it's uh, it's died right down. There's still a few hot spots. Uh, in the meantime, I was actually looking at some YouTube videos on how to put the uh, put the fire out. And in this case, there's not really any fire. But um, basically, what they said is you need to open it up. And get the uh, oh. but the charcoal is going to continue to to burn. I think that's what you can actually see there. That the two hot pieces that's actually charcoal. Um, and I, I might even I might even dash it with a little bit of water in a minute. But the um, but the rest of it's coke, and uh, and you can see that that's pretty much going to cool itself off although there's still a fair bit of heat coming from this i can i can feel that myself so i'm just going to wait here until that's uh until that's cooled right down but uh in essence that's that's your uh that's your coke fire or your uh, coke in the forge so um it's been a whole lot of fun uh as you can see this forge is still very temporary um i've got a dog bowl <laughs> underneath just to catch any slag and um, uh, I'm in the process of cleaning it all up. So, um, yeah, it's a working forge. It does what I need it to do. So um, I'm, I'm looking forward to doing some smithing now. I'm going to be coming back up with a forge very soon. Sorry, not a forge. What am I talking about? Getting a bit tired. Uh, I'm coming up with the anvil very soon. And by anvil, I mean a piece of steel with holes in it. Um, so I'll be able to start banging away on some things and um, hopefully considering the neighbours in that. So I uh, don't know about night time. Uh, night time blacksmithing but uh, certainly on the weekends and uh, and during the day so uh, thank you very much for watching uh, that's a little bit about coke and um, uh, if you're looking forward to seeing more things that I'm, I'm getting up to when it comes to learning all about blacksmithing and learning what it takes to actually uh, make some of my own tools then uh, please subscribe below and um, and keep watching and uh, thank you so much for watching I'll, I'll catch you next time